Hey guys, still here, and welcome to another war game video. Um, war game is a game that I played a lot, and at some time it just gets a little tedious. You do the same thing every time, so I decided to do something different instead. The following footage is uh, taken from my Patreon night, and it is a couple of scenarios that we're doing. This is the first of that, the next one is coming on Friday. The scenario is called Peacekeepers. A European peacekeeping force is attacked by a North, Agrian, a North Korean aggressor. Now, Blue 4 is only allowed to have motorized decks, European motorized decks, or mechanized decks from 1985. Red 4 is only North Korea 1985. There are no other options. You're allowed to use a mechanized deck, you're allowed to use a motorized specialization for North Korea, for example, but no other than that. As long as it's North Korea in 1985, it's fine. However, no aircraft. Not for blue, not for red. Blue 4 is allowed to set up defenses in a town-heavy map of their own choosing. So you can go with, well, basically any map that you think has a couple of good towns. And in this case, don't just look at the normal sectors of the map, because you can set up anywhere. Blue 4 has to have at least 10 militia units, which it has to defend. These militias have their weapons turned off. They're the civilians, they're the ones that you have to, well, let's say, keep the peace for. Red 4 wins if it kills all the militia units. And to make it more interesting, and this is a rule that um, after trying this one twice we decided to change, there is no income. So what you're about to watch is a no income game, where Blue 4 has 10 minutes to set up during the game, and then Red 4 in this case, my team comes at them. With these restrictions, these scenario-based rules, the game becomes a whole lot different. No longer are you just trying to get to a specific point to capture it. No longer are you going to park the command units in the same sector to get the income, be it conquest or destruction points. You're going to have to think different, especially since you're limited to uh, a deck that you might not normally have and a rule set that is going to change the way that the game is played. Uh, there's quite a bit of banter on going on. I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, I had a lot of fun during these encounters because it turned out that it was <laughs> a lot harder than I thought. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, the next one's coming Friday, which is going to be a role reversal. Same rule set, uh, some slight changes there, but I will inform you about that on Friday. Now, there are timestamps in the video as well, in case you want to just skip over the first part where we do a bit of the briefing slash discussion. And if you want to see the actual start of the battle, click in the video where it shall say what the time frame for that is. Enjoy. All right, so we get to find these guys. Okay. So, if you were blue, where would you set up? Well, they're going to have to... Presumably, they're going to... Elena looks like a good town, but mm -hmm. I'm going to get center. Or right in this corner over here. That would be hella annoying to attack. Yeah, would. I'd, I'd do that one. Now keep in mind, we don't have any income, so that's going to make it more Simply important that about one. what we capture and where. Well, we don't actually have to capture anything. Uh, is anybody running with a ton of arty? Yes, me. Okay. I'm not bringing anything in until we scout them, I think, is probably the best bet. Mm-hmm. Oh, we get 30 minutes after they get their first 10 minutes to set up. So, scout, see where they are, and then try to eliminate. Yeah, if I was them, though, I'd have decoys. Yeah, or just strong points. Because they got a ton of bridges that they can easily turn into fortified positions. And they have the time to do it. However, if we go past Constantine, we can probably flank around the back of Jot without them noticing using this bridge. So you want to go where? If we flanked around the back of Constantine through yeah. this, went over this bridge. We can then probably flank around the back of Jot with some vehicles without them noticing. I'm thinking, do we have enough maneuverability? Yeah, autonomy is about 500 for most of my vehicles. At least transports. I have 
got some supply helicopters. Okay, good. Joe, thoughts? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, I'm good either way. I've got a lot of recon helicopters. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you got a couple there, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they get another nine minutes to set up. Um, I'd say let's let's indeed not spawn in too much, if anything at all. Yeah. Uh, the other thing to think about is, apart from one of our apart from one of our CVs, the rest are scouts. <laughs> we have to keep one alive. Yeah. True. So it makes sense that the weakest, which is probably the UAZ, stays back, and I use my MI20, or is it MI2D? Whatever it is, I can they use that. They have good optics, right? Yeah, they got very good optics. Yeah. So <laughs> very CB good scout. recon. Halo. Is that better than a recon bird? Well, no. It's probably as equivalent, but it costs a hundred points instead of what? Yeah. Forty. Twenty-five. And well, let's see. Where they just come and attack us. I'm thinking if we find their town, we could pretty easily do a swarm attack with a whole bunch of helos. But the problem is that if they kill that, we might not have the points to come back from it. Yeah, I have got. Um, the other thing I've done is I've taken Gong Biong, which are the flamethrower troops, and put them in mm -hmm. MI8s. So I might be able to flank them. Oh, and good. Get a surprise invasion off. Yeah. But we need to find them. <laughs> yeah. I've got like 42 elite um, North Korean Marines for village work. Okay. How are they transported? In a PTR SPOK, which is amphibious, so it can cross the, can cross the rivers. Oh, yeah. We don't have to worry about the bridges. That's good. Uh, best place to cross. Well, if, they, if they're going to do a bridgehead, which I think they are. Crossing from Dimitri to Anna looks pretty good. It's the first away from a bridge that I think there is at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that and I think from Constantine to Jot, there's a bridge there, but it feels very deserted. There's no zones there, so... Well, there, so. I just go cross from our side over into that corner area. So, how will we know that... What do the civilians look like? Is it just militia in a village? It's just militia in the village, yeah. We know the Netherlands. Do we know what the Netherlands militia are called? Because that would help. Um, what was it called again? And do the, they all uh, have the to Nazca, be in the same village? National Reserve. Do they have to all be in the same village? Nope. Oh. Now, they can eat. I probably would, though, put all of their defense in one location. Alright, um, recon, I'd say just recon the whole front line, basically. Yeah. And then, since we have 30 minutes, we could pretty easily get some stuff in. They don't have any income, nor do we, so it's not like they're going to keep bringing in more stuff. Let's so say they went for a cheap infantry transport, together. that's 15 points total, 15, maybe 20. You're already down a CV, maybe a FOB. Mm. So I could spawn 40 units of infantry, give or take, per player. We're going to have to really baby our units. That's what I was thinking as well. We make sure they've yeah. got cover for each other, so we can yep. move together, combined arms. Yeah, I'm putting a lot of money on uh, artillery, but I yep. will try to do that. I will only buy artillery as soon as we know where they are. Mm-hmm. Until artillery us from the get go, try to find our CV. Yeah, but I don't think they'll CV snipe. It's not in line with the scenario. Okay. And if they do, I'll just go hide my MITD. Yeah. I'll go hide in the corner. <laughs> they picked a good map for this because you have so many towns to hide in. They could just sit back in Fedor. Yep. If we want to get to Fedor, we might have three, four minutes to get there. 
just logistics time. I have an idea. I'm going to try and get one of my um, women over there. <laughs> Your sniper teams? <laughs> yeah, my, my snipey whims. Yeah. Are we going to get to go have a go at the other way around afterwards? Yeah, we could try that. Yeah. Because we'll have to show them how to do it properly, because obviously we're going to win. Mm -hmm. I, I have to believe in myself. It's nice how people get nervous with these new game modes. Scenarios really throw people off of their game. Brings a bit of freshness back into you. Yeah. Because we've done the base game tons and tons of times, but doing something like this, where you have to hunt a specific unit, that's different. It was nice to see some of the more experienced players, for example, like, uh, well, more experienced, let's say Elite, uh, Razman and the gang, get nervous in the tournament when they were not allowed to pick their standard decks. <laughs> Oh, come on, three minutes. I might bring at least my... I might bring in my recon now, just mm -hmm. so they can get ready to fast move over to where I want them. Yeah. I'll not buy anything just yet. I'm wondering, what sort of tank would they have? Was that the Leopard 1, or did they get access to the 2 in 1985? We're not going to be able to out-tank them. No. And at least my deck in Vehicle Tab doesn't have any ATGMs. Helos do. Uh, I think there stuff. was some in the infantry as well, but I didn't go any. My, I've got the Gia Kukate MI8s, mm -hmm. which have got RPGs, but that's about it. Yeah. 14 AP, wow. Super and Jung Po, uh, 17 of them, but they only have an AP of 12, so they're not going to be very helpful. Yeah, but they fire heat, right? Recoilless rifles. Heat. Because that means they can always do something against an armored unit. And they can one-shot most of the transports, especially these old things. Yeah, I've got them in pretty fast um, personnel carriers that are also amphibious. Yeah. Yeah, that's something about nice about North Korea. 40 kph off-road amphibious vehicles. I'm oh, sorry, 80 kph off-road. 40 kph amphibious. So how much AA do you think we're going to need in the combined force for the helicopters they'll have? Well, that's a good point. They could just do know. a helicopter rush. One of them's motorized, one of them's mechanized. They're only allowed mode to win mech. So it's not like they're going to have tons of helicopters. We won't see Apaches, probably. How would you guys do it on this side of the river? The town south of Constantine. Mm -hmm. Put everything in there. Hold the bridgeheads with a couple of units to avoid a flank. Have a first line up in Constantine, and then this uh, woodland over that side, and then a yeah. full back line. First full back line is the row, the factory, and then get mm -hmm. your men as far, yeah. and then get your units as far down. And then, and then I'd probably do a little fake out, yeah, of hiding one unit maybe in this village over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one militia unit. <laughs> Gotta really mount that pressure. Alright, scout ahead. There we go. I'm keeping them on their toes. <laughs> go where my toes. Do your job. Joe, are you still with us? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm scouting for a safe game. <laughs> oh, okay, literally at the start time. <laughs>
Let's see how good their interior net is. We'll have to get those seed aircraft we don't have up. That'd be a big help. Okay, they got 10 militia. <laughs> nice try. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Backups. Contact oh, that's a gazelle. gazelle. Oh. Wait. Wait. That's not their side of the river. What is that? A transport truck? Oh, what was it transporting? Oh, there's a DAF. Where's that going? I think we're going to have to check out Cheriton and Elena. No, the DAF's falling back. Three stripes. Could be recon infantry. What do you think? Is it worth artillery in that position? At random? No, mm. that there. Oh, that? Maybe. I'm going to start spawning some stuff in. Because we've already been sitting on our ass for three minutes. There's their interior. Cassiope. Oh, that's a good choice. Make sure you got Shilkas or something else. I'm going to make a push into Cheriton, see if we can find anything between the towns here. Got some stuff up top. That's got to be something, right? Could be. It's interesting that it's almost out of fuel. That thing has an autonomy of 800. Where's it gone from? Did you just traverse half the map and went back? Joe, be careful not to lose too many of my twos. Yeah, I didn't see that. Let's try the other side of the uh, flight gun. I still have 380 points left. Always when I'm trying to record a video, my cat goes berserk. It's full it on raining outside. He wants to go outside, so I open the door and then he goes, nope, never mind. Five minutes later, full goldfish reset. Can I go outside, please? <clears throat> nope. It feels like Gosworth is everywhere. I've seen units from here all the way to there. He is in a lot of places. Just trying to escape his dog, probably. Yeah, this MI2 might run out of fuel soon. I can refuel it if need be. Oh, 
Feels like I'm walking right into some sort of trap over here. Anyway, we saw responses coming from here, or rather the, the forest there and Anna. So they're trying to prevent any crossing from Dimitri. They might have some stuff in center. Something taking game over here. Heal on. Yeah, gazelle hot. Come on, kill the gazelle. Come on, show us. are barely in range. They're struggling. Come on, yeah, got it. Okay, that's one down. Do you need refueling on those shelkers? Uh, I got a am I four coming in? But I'm gonna check out that town over there in Elena. Careful here, I'm not sure if this town is clear. Based on what I'm seeing right now, they might be turtled in Fedor. Contact. I'm sending some infantry to Elena to uh, go through that town, make sure it's clear. Yep. Although Joe just had a Type 80 pass through there without encountering anything. So we can cross off Elena from the search. we got 20 minutes to clear the rest. It's not a lot of time. <laughs> nope. We better speed this thing up. At what point do I go, oh no, oh no, and start just shooting Fedor with every artillery piece I have. <laughs> I'd say at the five minute mark. That way your shells still have some time to arrive. I'm gonna refuel and then move on to Fedor. See if they got their civilians over there. It is a bit of a grim scenario, come to think of it. Oh. Contact. AMX versus Su Songs. Oh shit, they got a Leopard 2? Oh no. That's not good. We need air cover here. Am I 25? Might, might just pen it. If it hits. Yeah, they do not want us in here. Even a Leopard for Kenny. The fact we've only seen AA and Anna makes me think in those top right villages there's something. Okay. Any chance you can get a unit there? Yeah, I'm gonna get some young Choi there, I think. Here. 
I never thought I'd lay down a smoke screen for Type 50 noise. <laughs> You just love everyone equally. That's why mm -hmm. you are the best communist. <laughs> I think they're backing off. Yeah, Leopard's running. Whoa, calm down. <laughs> There's a Mephisto in there. There's a Marder over there as well. Alright. Tank. That's the Vikenny. We need better recon here. I'm down to my last 40 points at this time, so... I need you guys to start clearing other towns. All right. Gazelle is shooting at your MI2. Jesus, that did nothing? Yeah, right. Oh, side shot. Nope. Martyr. Assumedly. Trickier than I thought, this one. Oh, hi, Gazelle. Well, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> What's that? I'm in danger. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What are you resupplying there? They're what? Those, those, those women snipers were in something. Maybe I shouldn't set a limiter like this for the North Koreans because you're already at a disadvantage because you only have 30 minutes to clear a map this size. This is a big map. Uh oh. What's that? Uh, I lost my snipers. Right. Time for plan two. Is this the part where you start yelling, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit? I bring in some rocket artillery and some napalm tanks. Fair enough. And then I charge the napalm tanks at Fedor and hope. How do you think? Good, good idea? Bad idea? Yeah, sure. Try it. What's the worst that can happen? Don't answer that one. <laughs> Could think of a few things. They are really keen on defending the towns over here on the top right. I think you guys might be right. Do you want me to shell them? Might as well try. It's the only place where they have consistent. Defense. Take an educated guess on buildings. The ones in the back. I would put my defenses in the front. Roger, I'm zoning in.
Yep, definitely French. The Air Mix 10 RC is running. <laughs> oh, counter. Counter battery. Dodge it, dodge it. Hmm. Finding all sorts of fancy stuff over there. Yeah, it's architect who's holed up in there. Thirteen minutes left. Those 2A1 and L's are a problem. Or 2A1s in general, actually. Too tough to kill. If anyone has some cargo capacity in Sheraton. Yeah, I'm sending a Logi Halo over. Considering the defense is here and the the defense around Anna, I think they're just building a oh, shield no, around no. that area. Where do you think they put them then? I'd say either in the town here, here, or here. So the ones that we suspected. Well, you guys right. suspected mostly. Here we go, kids. I'm gonna try and make my way over there, but they're putting a bunch of stuff in between myself and that objective. That's why they don't want us to kill that people. No mm hmm. Heavy tank here, what is that? A Leopard 2 here? Yeah? 1A2. Where? Oh, 1A2, that's not too bad. Even North Korean units can kill that. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a lot of units here. I'm getting counterattacked. They definitely don't want us going right. Yeah, I think you're right there, you know. Yeah, they're moving back from yeah, the they're left. they're all going right. Ten minutes. So we know where they are, and now we need to get there. Suggestions? That's a lot of gazelles. Yeah. That's blazing. Careful, minstrel. Yeah, I see another leopard moving to the right. That's where they are. Milans. Yep. Shelling the Milans. Joe, can you also focus your efforts on the right? One of the Milans is down. This is line infantry. If No, that's elite infantry, actually. Ooh, ow. Yeah, the leopards are coming in. They do not want my infantry pushing that way. Nope. Leopards, martyrs, 2 and L. Right. There's another one coming in. Yeah, we definitely found him. Um, 
I bought my last tank and got my last unit fielded. What can we bring to kill those tanks? Because we need to bypass those. My best HG gym is the flighter at 16 AP. And my, my Type 59 is going to do only 15. There's even a cheetah moving around, and there's more infantry inside that town now. There are a few ferrets left at this stage. Uh, to bring you don't have any what? I don't have any uh, points left. Oh. Okay. Me neither. Right, so I've gone attack ready. But? Well, let's see if you guys can support it. I can give you mortars, anti air, and limited reconnaissance. Right, I'm pushing center. Very good. With? Uh, ATGM tanks, recon tanks, napalm tanks. Oh, coming in from the left, gotcha. They should be pushing hard with those leopards. Oh, crap. Another Vakenning coming in. Six minutes. Everything from their sides moving to the right. Careful, you're probably not going to make it th through that open field. Those lepers will tear you to pieces. Took one out. One try now. More 102s moving about in Anna. Come on, get him. <laughs> it 
That's 80 GMs, from those are my 25s. They just oh, for completely... <laughs> Literally the worst! It's like they just make a 90 degree turn the moment that they go, Ah, oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> just close enough. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> so interesting as well, they get one shot and take you out. You take yeah. three or four, nothing. <laughs> you sons of... <laughs> I don't think we're going to get those guys in three minutes. Really? Yeah. Do you think I like we to be optimistic, but it's... No. It's got to be close. So what an interesting game. Obviously you learn a lot of lessons, but it's a super cool scenario. Obviously a few tweaks required. Yeah, we're gonna have to tweak Don't this worry, thing a my, bit. My napalm tanks of death are on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Their infantry is too. You might want to start <laughs> napalming right now. Napalm them! Yes! yes! <laughs> Palm those men! That's half of them gone. Elite Panzer Grenadiers, no less. There we go. Go on, napalm tank! Uh oh, the actual tanks are on the way. Yep, build a smoke screen. Build your own smoke screen. For... Never mind. Oh, it took out one of the ERCs, I think. Good job, napalm tanks. I've got 15 points. I can buy uh... a cargo truck. <laughs> yeah, anything that you send in now won't make it to the front line. <laughs> Probably not even the helicopters can get here in time. I can buy a cargo truck. They sent empty DAF trucks as recon. Yes, why not? It's a good strategy. It is, yeah. And we wasted points trying to figure out what they dropped. I think a lot of those trucks might have been decoys. Because we could have just gone, okay, they might be over here between Center and Anna. And then we start inspecting the rest of the map and we go, hold on, there's a DAF here, there's a DAF there. What, what the hell? You know, they're not as dumb as they look. I know. How dare they? It's disappointing. Hey, I killed something. Good man. I'll do it again. Inside of this. 70 seconds, ideally. But this time with passion. Yes. Make it look good. Hey, Rocket Arty, if you, if you want to make it look could good, you, could you fire? All right, so how would you guys improve this game mode? This uh, need l I th this map's too big. Yeah. There's way too much to cover. I think you've got to limit it to 2v2s or 1v1 maps. Mm -hmm. 4v4's way too large to cover in the time frame. Yeah. Um, apart from that, I think it, it's fair. North Korea has a bit of a bit of a disadvantage, but if we could throw all of our weight in one direction at the same time, mm -hmm. we'd probably have a better chance. Well, since we're saying in the scenario that Europe is the one defending, uh, maybe Germany's not playing because they don't always join the international peacekeeping missions. No, Germany. That would take the leopard out of play. Although the leopard two A one and L would still be there. Problematic. And, oh, my rockets were flying. Hmm. All right, let's move back down. I think it's probably a better video if you're going to make one of the defenders in this. Yeah, probably. Probably. Defending North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Take me stealth. Hello. Well done to you guys. Welcome back. So I had fun chasing your MI2s inside. all over the map. <laughs> Jeez. Hundred point leopards were a little bit heavy for that. None. He didn't scratch one. So the what? HE cluster was interesting to see. <laughs> was it even in the right area? Oh yeah. 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 Oh, cool. It was. It was that back left town from or us for you. It was the top kind right of town. Roughly, yeah. 
Yeah, the problem is those leopards cannot be countered by anything North Korea can field. Because our yeah, realize... GM does 16. <laughs> yeah, and well, a lot of your tanks are just also shorter range, so even if you go in mass. Yep. Yeah. I mean, just have, have to. We have to charge them with every tank we have, so they run out of ammo. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, but we made sure that we had access to plenty of uh, ammo. We actually spent some points on fobs and some resupply well, units. The fobs were partly because the timer. <laughs> we didn't quite realize we were talking. It was like, oh, shit, we have 10 seconds. Yeah, well, Could the only thing you cannot fobs? deploy after that phase is the fob. Yeah, I deleted mine. But yeah, that truck that you saw, Stealth, I was like, send it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's there's nothing in it. It was just a truck. But I was like, mm -hmm. oops, that's not supposed to be there. And for, from your guys' perspective, you were using the town southwest of... Al yeah, there we go. Southwest of Alf and Charlie. I'm looking at the replay now. Mm. Yeah, Alpha, um, Captain Easy, that was a fun game of cat and mouse. At least I'm assuming that was you. Yes, it was, yeah. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> You'd move might... an MI2 forward, I'd move forward a gunship. You'd back off, I'd back <laughs> off. <laughs> MI2s were cool to see, but every time we shot one, it was like, 40 points, not shooting us this time. <laughs> But the arty was the worst thing, I think. Because we didn't have anything to really counter it. Nothing. Thank you. It was the only thing we could actually use to do damage. I, I think it was the only thing I got a kill with. Um. No, my napalm tank did some burning. Yeah, yes. I ran into stealth. I ran into your stuff pretty quick. When they hit the right yeah, spot, those napalm tanks did rough. Yeah, your elite infantry got halved. <laughs> <laughs> um. One tip, the MI-2 is one of the slowest helicopters. <laughs> I don't think we have many options in North Korea. I, I, I know, yeah. but still, he tried to run away, and I, I actually pulled up the stats. I'm like, MI-2, 200 kilometers an hour. Puma Cassiope, 250. Mm -hmm. I know there's no fight. empty air over here. <laughs> I can catch him. <laughs> you guys had a nice defensive line there. Gazelles, Fliegerfaust, Panzer Grenadiers. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, we had a nice balance of type of troops, too. Yeah. Where... Yeah, we were able to say, hey, who has this? Oh, I've got one of those. Okay, bring it out. Yeah, Minstrel. I mean, yeah, sorry, out. <laughs> Lorden had the infantry moving around a bit. I had the tanks moving, and Architect has the helos. Mm -hmm. Helos and the, some of the spags, yeah. Yeah. Stealth, do you think if you were to do it again, would the European nations be able to put main battle tanks in a peacekeeping mission that quickly that you think? I think that's one of the things. Maybe it's only light battle tanks or medium battle tanks. We could say no tank tab. That's a fair point. Because I'm not sure if you would have a tank as a peacekeeping force. Oh, I mean, the Americans obviously would. They bring tanks to everything. But um, <laughs> Let's say well, in a game mode like this, it's a good point, at least North Korea would have more of a chance. The British don't feel their challenges when doing peacekeeping. Well, the first thing about peacekeeping is that despite on the your area. guarding is getting shot, you have to just let them get shot. You can't shoot back. Yeah. That's the first issue. With it. So you can have tanks with their guns turned off. You can have infantry <laughs> with the guns turned off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it, would, would it, it wouldn't really be considered peacekeeping if it was against North Korea. It'd be policing at that point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and wow. people do use their tanks for policing. Well, that's seriously. If you look, if you really look at historically, a nation that's so you know that's powerful enough to be a, a challenge. People call it policing. If it's you know Rwanda or something, or um, you know something that they don't have the military to stand up to any of you know, the major players, that's what when they do call you mean? it. The powerhouse of Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my too point. Too soon. Too know. soon. <laughs> they don't use tanks because they don't need them versus. With North Korea, they would. Yeah, if we did that one again... in Rwanda? Nah. I, I, yeah, I they wanna, would. I want to use the greatest deck ever made, which is on the... Anzac Armored. No, Steam Workshop as... Where is it? Botswana Defense Force. <laughs> <laughs> Stealth, if we did that one again, I would maybe suggest a smaller map as the option. Yeah, we came to the same conclusion. I mean, also, North Korea fuel issues. I saw a few things run out of fuel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of running out of fuel. The funny thing is they ran out of fuel so far back, we were like, do we have anything that can actually hit that? Nope. <laughs> okay, just leave it sit there. I brought two mortars that fired like five times. That's it. Yeah, they were in that forest next to Foxtrot. Yeah, I was worth the tanks. Like, oh, I think Stealth found my tanks, or <laughs> Mistral found my tanks. Someone got them. I mean, not tanks, mortars. 
my favorite was I had one spag on the front that I I kept it back in the woods and then we'd see a helicopter come up I'd tell it to attack move forward over back and ba over to where it started and so it'd come forward it'd shoot at your choppers you guys would mortar and it, you'd mortar where it was and it had already yeah. moved forward I know well, if you had mortar. one DAF truck that can do 800 <laughs> kilometers where the hell did it go because it, it was almost out of fuel when it got back to your lines um, it went to the left side, dropped something off, and then came back. Ah. And I used the DAF trucks as, you know, picket line. Right, yeah. So that's how we yeah, saw the stuff coming down in the right flank. That was infuriating. The DAF trucks? Yeah. We spent so <laughs> long trying to figure out what they were doing. <laughs> they were doing nothing. The answer was nothing. <laughs> yeah, they were doing nothing, but we couldn't just ignore them because the risk of missing one of their your units was too great. I mean... Yeah, when you really I didn't know we're playing my games. <laughs> so, that was not nearly as easy as I would have liked. Um, one of the rules that we agreed on afterwards was that the defender side, so that's, I say the peacekeeper side, is not allowed to have tanks. Because these guys, the Leopard 2A1s, proved to be pretty much invulnerable. South Korea, so no, sorry, North Korea just does not have the functionality, the, the armor piercing, to punch through these guys. The only way that you could do it is to swarm them. And that, well, you just don't have the points for that. Something else that we have changed after we did both the scenario that you just saw and the one that you will see on Friday is that we said, you know what, we should be getting income for a game like this, especially for the aggressors. The peacekeepers will not be allowed to leave their sector, but the aggressors are. And if they capture more sectors, then they can get more forces. And that way, you make sure that you have just that extra edge that you can use to attack. Anyway, if you want to play this by yourself, uh, links or the, the description contains all the rule sets. And of course, you can adjust these as you see fit. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the description or down below in the comment section. Um, I had a lot of fun with this and I hope you had uh, an interesting time watching it. More coming up on Friday.